Hello everyone, this is Anisun Islam from Bangladesh. I would like to welcome all of you in this Android video. In this video, I will show you how to use card view in your Android project. But before that, I would like to say a few words. You know English is my second language, so if I do any sort of mistake throughout this video, please excuse me. I am still picking up English. If any one of you wants to help me, please go to Facebook and search me by using this email address. Let's get started. First of all, I will demonstrate the project so that you can understand the basic structure of this project. As you can see, I have used four card view in this project and if I click in any card view, I can go to another activity. So I have added the listener as well. Let's get started with uh, the step one. First of all, you need to create a project with API level 22 or higher. So go to the Android Studio, file new, new project, my card view. You can give any name, my card view demo, test actually, I'm giving a long name, it doesn't matter for you. Click next, make sure the API level is 22 or higher, next, next, and finish. It will take some time. The project is ready, so we can go for the next step. First of all, I will increase the font size so you can see very well. Okay. The next step is you have to add the dependency if you're going to use the card view. You have to add the card view dependency. So for that, you have to go to the Gradle script and go to the build Gradle and inside the dependency, all you have to do, you have to copy this line and down here, you have to paste it. Just change the app compat into card view and after that, you have to click on synchronize now. It will take some time. Perfect. And the next step is you have to add some colors for your project. So I'm going to copy all these colors. As you can see already in this project, I have used some colors. So we need colors. So go to the app directory inside the resource folder, go to values. And inside of this, you have to add the additional colors that you're going to use in this project. Okay. You can pause the video and you can type all these color. Okay. Go for the next step now. We have to get all the icons that we're going to use in this project. So as you can see, I have used uh, four icons, school, library, restaurant, and hospital. So I need to get all of these icons. So for this, I have to go to on drivable new image vector asset actually. Click on here, clip art. Search for the school one first. So school, click on here. Okay. And you can change the color from here. So I will take it white, so choose, next, finish. And I will do one by one, back to reset, click on here. This time I'll go for the library one, library, okay, local library, okay, perfect. Click on next, finish. Travel, new, back to reset. We have already got library and school. Now I need hospital and restaurant. Hospital, okay. Next, finish. New. Back to reset. Go for the restaurant one now. Okay, next and finish. Right, so we got all the icons. Now we need to get some strings as well because in this project I have used a few strings as you can see, school, library, restaurant and hospital. So I've copied the project uh, string actually. Now I'm going to the string XML file and I'm gonna paste it down here. And after adding all the strings, now we need to design the layout and this is one of the boring part I believe, but we have to do it anyway. So go to the linear layout in XML file and I'm gonna use linear layout, so I need to change the constraint layout into linear layout. I'm going to use the preview so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm gonna remove the text view from here. And first of all, I'll divide the screen into three parts. As you can see in this project, I have divided the screen into three parts. In one part, I have used one linear layout and inside of this linear layout, I have used uh, two card view and after that I have an I have used another linear layout and inside of this linear layout I have placed two card view as well. So I need to divide the screen into three parts first of all with some tree and I'm gonna make it the orientation as vertical and I will use the gravity center. So gravity center I will use some padding here about 10 dp. So that's it and you can use the background color as well. 
so the background color I'm gonna use from the color XML file that I made already okay and inside of this linear layout first of all I need to make one linear layout and inside of this linear layout I'll create actually two card views so first of all I need to make one linear layout and inside of this linear layout I'm gonna use two card view actually so layout with be with will be mass parent but height will be zero dp as I have already dis divided the screen so layout weight actually layout weight equal one and you can use the gravity here gravity center I will use the orientation horizontal because you can see in this project uh, in this linear layout I have added two card view and they are horizontally placed so I have to make the orientation horizontal horizontal perfect okay and I can add more properties like click to padding false okay that's all for this uh, uh, linear layout now inside of this linear layout I have to make one card view and if you can make one card view then you can copy and paste it several times so let's get started here so you have to use card view that's it and the width will be actually match parent no not match parent I'll keep it 0 dp 0 dp and the height will be match parent match parent I'll use layout height property here actually layout height not the margin one layout weight actually layout weight one and I'll add some more properties like IDE ID actually I'll use card view here so school card view school card view actually this one so school card view ID and inside this I'm gonna add margin about 10 dB and that's it for the card view now inside the card view as you can see from this project I have added three things one is image view another is a view and after that is a text view so I have to make the card view actually the uh, car inside of this card view I'll make another linear layout and inside this linear layout I will add image view view and text view so inside this card view I'm making a linear layout that will have all the properties actually like image and text views okay so width will be mass parent height will be mass parent perfect and I can use the gravity here so gravity center perfect the orientation will be vertical because as you can see from the project all these uh, contents all these elements in uh, vertical orientation so that's why I have to make it vertical okay and after that now we can start adding our elements like image view first I'm going to add image 64 dp I'm gonna use 64 dp height will be 64 dp as well and inside this I'll add the source I'm gonna use school icon first perfect and after that I will use padding padding like 10 dp padding okay but as you can see from the project that I have already made uh, the image is inside in a circle shape okay and so I have to make the circle shape right now I have to make actually four circle shape so how are you going to make the circle shape I will show you go to the drawable folder click here new drawable resource file and write down here circle background first I'll make the purple sub circle so purple okay go to the text file and here select shape Android shape oval and inside the shape tag I'm gonna use solid Android color and the color will be purple that's it and I'll close the file that's it so you have to do all these things okay and I will copy this file several times so that I can make uh, another three backgrounds this oval type background so circle background purple as you can see that I've made it right now I'll copy it and I'll start pasting paste just change the name pink the next one will be pink and I will change the color from here pink okay and one by one I'll paste it down again paste this time I will use green or blue, whatever you like. Green, green, paste again. This time I will make the last one blue. Perfect. So everything's already. 
Now go back to the main XML file again. Okay, main XML file again. And I'm going to add the background here. Background. And for this background, I'm first background, I'll use purple. And as you can see, this one is ready. Perfect. Okay. And after that, uh, after this image, I'm going to add one more view. So I'm going to remove this preview from here. So I'm going to add view. View will be, width will be mass parent, height will be 1 dp. And you need to call, close the view. Perfect. And inside this view, I'll add two more properties like the background color. So the background will be deep purple as well. And just have a look, I have used deep purple color here. Okay, and I'll add more padding, 10 dp padding, 10 dp. Okay, so I've added the image, I have added the view, and under this view, I'm gonna add one text view. Text view, the width will be wrap content, height will be wrap content. I'll add the text here, and the text I'll add for the first one is the school text that I've already added in the string XML file. And after this, I'll add margin top 5 dp. Perfect. And I can use the text style here as well. Text style, bold. I'm going very slow so that you can understand very well. Okay, so I think we have made a one card view as you can see. I've made one card view. And uh, here, inside this view, I'm going to add margin. So margin, about 5 dp margin. Perfect. Okay, so we have done it. Uh, we have done. Uh, we have created the first card view. Now I'm going to copy and paste down. So here the card view. Just start selecting from here, and until the card view end, copy it, and then paste inside the linear layout. Paste it. So if you go to the preview now, you will see you have added one more card view. And just you need to do one thing. You have to change the ID. I'm going to use here library card. So library card view ID. And I need to change the image as well. So library image. And background color. I'll need to change it. I will use pink color here if I wish. Okay. And I'm going to change the uh, deep purple color for the view. I'll keep it pink as well and the text needs to be changed because uh, here I'm going to show library so I'll use library text perfect so we have made one linear layout inside of this linear layout we have placed two card view now we can copy paste this linear layout the whole linear layout so from here look this is the root layout and inside this root layout we have used one linear layout and inside this linear layout we have added two card view so from here to the end of this linear layout so i'll select until this part control c and i'm going to paste it control v that's it and i need to change the id i need to change some things i'll edit start edit so from here i will use not school card view this one will be restaurant restaurant card view i will change the image restaurant i'll change the color the color will be blue or green, whatever you can use. I'll use blue. So it has to be circle, right? Circle background. I'm going to use green here. Okay. It depends on you. And after that, I'm going to use material green inside the view. And inside the text, I will change the text. I will use restaurant text. And after that, in the next card view, I'm going to use not library, I'm going to use hospital card view and here I will use hospital icon and the color, I need to change the color, background color so I will use not material green, I will use background color circle background actually so we should use circle background that we have created you know so circle in this time i'll use blue okay not the purple one so i haven't done everything well i think in the blue circle i've made a mistake so i'm going there blue circle yes here 
I'm supposed to use blue color, right? Blue, natural blue. Perfect. Now go to the main XML file and it's okay. I need to change uh, the color into blue, material blue, okay? And the text needs to be changed as well. So library text. That's it, but you have seen this. Uh, these are not uh, as circle because I haven't used the circle color maybe. So I'm going to the card view again. Just making it clear to you. Okay, so the going to the first card view that I've used inside the image view, I have used material color, but I haven't used the oval shape that I've created. So I'm going to change it and I'm going to make it circle purple. Perfect. And the next one also needs to be changed. So here I'm going to use circle background pink. Well done. So far so good. I have uh, made enough for this video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, I'll keep so far uh, until this far. And after that, I'll, I'll add the listener. In the next video, I'll show you how to add the listener. But before that, I want to run this code for one time so that you can see what we have done so far. It's taking some time. Sorry for that. I think I was too lazy for the first video you know I'm making but I think I'll, I'll get better day by day inshallah so you have to keep supporting me and uh, you can uh, tell me what you want you can uh, comment start commenting what are the things you need I will try my best to make video on the specific topic that you will mention still it's taking some time And you can see that our project is ready. It's working very good as, I, as we wanted. We have created it. And in the next video, I'll add the listener.